Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tableside of Fire Bride. I am Lauren, and in today's episode, we will be making the chocolate peanut drops from the Taste of Home. Slow cooker and one dish recipe cookbook. I thought that this would be very fitting. The holidays are upon us. Everybody's making candy and a bunch of other good stuff. And yeah, I thought that this would be really fun and really easy. Some inspiration for your next family gathering or whatever it is that you want to do. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. To your slow cooker, you're gonna add a 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, a 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate chips, a 12 ounce bag of white chocolate chips, and two 16 ounce jars of peanuts. Now we're gonna put this in the heating element. We're gonna put it on low. So for the first hour and a half, we're just gonna leave it alone. Then every 15 minutes, we'll just come back and stir it until the chocolate is melted. Okay, so it's been a little bit longer than an hour and a half, but we're gonna go ahead and stir it. So I have husband with me. He's like kind of like, over there, not that you guys can see where I just pointed. Behind the scenes. He is behind the scenes. Husband, have you had this before? Have I made you this candy before? I don't think this kind. Um, oh, you have made... It looks so lovely. Like other peanut-based candies before, but I don't think I've had this one. Uh, husband, what are you going to do for me, like, in the next minute once I get done filming? <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm gonna make you bacon. He's gonna make me bacon because... Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> but we'll go ahead, give this a good stir, maybe give it another, I don't know, 15 minutes, and then we'll, we'll put it on the parchment paper and all that fun, lovely stuff. So the candy is almost done. Okay, so I got my little cookie scoop. This is a tablespoon cookie scoop. And we're just gonna bring it into the candy. Ah. And then just plop it down. Now, if you want, you can add some sprinkles for a little extra flair and a little extra crunch. This is what I'm using. So. So the first couple of batches are just chilling out. We're going to give these maybe an hour or two to actually chill and kind of solidify. Then when they are done, we'll come back and we'll try them. <laughs> so yeah, we will see you guys in a little bit. And we are back. <laughs> we waited till the next day to do it because we had stuff to do and the candy wasn't ready to go. Yeah. So... My love, you really haven't had my Crock-Pot candy? No, not this one. Oh. Huh. You've had some other sweets that you've made in the Crock-Pot before, but not this one. Okay. For some reason, I thought that I made these and you had them. But anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> so I have some on the plate that have the sprinkles, and then I have one that doesn't have any, that doesn't have any sprinkles on it. So which one would you like to try? No, oh, the one without. Oh, so boring. Okay, fine. Ready? You ready to try them? Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. 
I have something to say. Okay. <laughs> In just a second. <laughs> if you want to elaborate while I'm trying to chew, go go for it. No, I like this. I mean, it's good. Simple, well executed, straightforward um, peanuts and chocolate and so forth. I really like it. You? <clears throat> One thing, and I think that it was a boo-boo on my part, I didn't buy salted peanuts. I think I bought unsalted hmm. because as you're eating it, it's like there's not that balance of like, you know, the salted peanuts and the chocolate. I'm just like, this would be really good with like maybe like some sea salt like sprinkled on top hmm. or something. That's like, oh, wait, I don't think I bought salted peanuts. So that's my bad. <laughs> I think it still, I think it still works if you're if you're in a mood for, um, like for more of the chocolate flavor and it not mingling with anything else. I mean, like I I agree where the salted, where the salt and the chocolate together could work out really well. Like I think it's very good. Mm -hmm. I think it's still really good. I just think I bought the wrong peanuts for it because. It, I feel that it would have been better with salted peanuts to really, like, like go against all the chocolate that was used. Right. Because <laughs> I used three bags of different chocolate Yeah. for this. So, I'll own my boo-boo <laughs> for buying the wrong thing. So, but other than using salted peanuts, I love these. I think they are very good. Easy candy, yeah. great for parties, great for the holidays. You can buy any type of sprinkle that you want to match whatever that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I I love these. Just buy salted peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> so, my love, do you have anything else to say? I do not. <clears throat> well, I'm going to get some water because I feel really... <laughs> So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for coming back. Do you have anything else to say, Laura? No. No? Okay. But <laughs> if you guys want to support the channel, my Venmo and Buy Me A Coffee information will be in the description along with the recipe. You guys are awesome. And yeah, hope you guys just have a good one. Bye.